I was yeah. super sad about it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go play melee, bro. <laughs> Fuck you. You can get made another day, dude. Jesus. Let's see how Venti does here. I like. I like watching uh. I like watching Squid play against foxes. Yeah. I don't know why. It's always interesting. Yeah, he has a lot of different stuff. The the thing about okay, the thing about this matchup, Fox Falco, is that there's a lot of different ways for the fox to play it, and there's not like. There's not one answer for Falco that sort of beats them all. So you have to have like a bunch of different game plans ready to go in order sure. to get in there. All right, I have to take off. I have to go play. All right, good luck. Toodaloo, thank you. All right, so Squid takes the first stock. A little a little bit of a good play there, but he did eat a bunch of percent before getting into it. So yeah, easy up smash there by Venti. Squid tried to shine to, to get out of it, but he was already too far down by the time he was out of hit stun, so he eats it anyway. So we're back to perfectly even. Let's see what Squid's got. He gets the Nair catching Venti coming down from a jump. It's a super risky Nair, right? Because he c it could be that uh, it could be that the Venti just crouch cancels and then he's the one who's eating the shine. But uh, Squid recognizes his opportunities and, and goes for the Nair anyway. Ooh, nice shield Nair, and he does the drift back, so it's pretty safe as well. Uh, Squid wanted to wait for like the roll away or something. But Venti just get up tech or uh, regular get ups or, or techs in place. Oh, Squid recognizes that it's going to be the straight angle. Gets a punish. And there we go. Venti's down another stock. So this time Squid's able to generate a little bit of a lead. Let's see if Venti can chip away at it or if Squid can solidify it here. Finds the back air, but not able to follow up really. Nice Nair coming off that side platform. Catching Squid trying to laser. Ooh, Squid goes for the back air, but Venti gets out of there and then comes back up with the Nair. It's going to net him the stock, and we're back to super even. Get up attack. Squid's able to punish that with a shine. Up air, slide off back air. That was so cool. Squid finds another back air, catching Venti coming down. Oh, but the shine. This could be a Gimp situation. Nah, Venti doesn't go for it. Venti tries to just hold center stage and keep Squid trapped in the corner, but Squid finds his way out. Oh, he finds the back air, but it does reverse. But that down smash is going to take care of it. Squid up a stock here again. Let's see if he can hold it this time. Venti's done a great job of making these disappear once he's a little bit behind. Nice spot dodge, recognizing that Squid's just going to run up grab. Another spot dodge on another grab. Venti seems to have a little bit of a read here on when Squid wants to punish him for shielding. Oh, again, a spot dodge. That's three in a row. Squid finds the get up shine this time. Another spot dodge this time. Venti finds the shine. He's starting to punish as well. That's when the read gets really scary. Squid with another great short, and Venti trying to punish from stage. I'd love to see him just grab the ledge one time here and punish Squid because he's gone every time. Venti claims that side platform. Squid doing the ginger and staying off center on the under the other side platform. Um, Venti keeps doing that that jump right at him, so Squid recognizing that that's the positioning he wants when Venti's on the other side platform. Uh, Venti's gonna have to like figure that out a little bit because uh, right now that's been like the the positioning, the stage positioning that he wants to approach from. And uh, if Squid's gonna have a solid answer, ooh. Oh, this time Squid gets a spot dodge shine. Not a big punish. Venti finds the Nair. Can he punish here? Oh, Squid finally doesn't go to ledge, but he gets that little upward angle. Venti able to cover it afterwards. Squid just walks up trying to get Venti to roll, but he's refusing. Venti gets an opening. Can he make something happen here? Oh, he goes for that shine. He wanted it to go off stage, looking for the gimp, but Squid gets back to center because of it. Squid gets the dare into the back air. Can he get this edge guard? Oh, he gets some lasers. Oh, and he catches him on that side B. Catches the back air, and Squid's going to claim it. All right. Jumping into game two here real quick. Venti's already picked his stage. Let's see where we're going. Pokemon Stadium. Oh, he gets that quick shine. Venti all over Squid, but the shield drop shine catching that drill. Drill's this really weird move where, like, the amount of hit stun you're, or hit, uh, shield stun you're going to be in is, like, different depending on when the last tick of the drill hits you between versus when Fox lands. But with the shield drop shine, it's so fast, even faster than shine out of shield normally, uh, that you can just go for it, and it's usually going to be safe. Squid with the crazy reversal there at the ledge. Going to make Venti pay for it with a whole stock. That's really painful. All right. Squid's up a stock already. Let's see if we can keep that going. Squid, oh, he goes for that Magi Double Dare. I love seeing that. That's something he's been recently incorporating into his game. It's a very specific sp percentage right at the end where if you went for another Shine Dare, it would force them to tech, and then you don't really get a good punish. Um, but if you go for the Double Dare, they get that weird like flip animation, and there's nothing you can do. 
Um, and oftentimes they don't DI it quite properly, and you can just get an F smash off of it, and that's when it's really crazy. While we're going through that, Squid finishes off the stock with another clean combo. Venti finds himself at a pretty big disadvantage. Oh, the up smash would have really evened things up a little, but can't find it. Venti continues trying to play from these side platforms. Squid seems to have a good answer, but this time Venti goes for like three nairs in a row and the third one finds Squid. It seems like when Venti just pushes and pushes, Squid has kind of a hard time handling the pressure. But when Venti tries to delay things and slow it down, Squid's able to find that one counter hit. Oh, another a side being on the stage. Venti's going to make a, make Squid pay heavily for this. A quick 84%. Squid's got to be feeling a little nervous after all that. He takes over that little corner behind the rock. He finds the ledge. All right, Squid gets a dash attack. Venti's back off stage. Goes to ledge. Smart play. Squid recognizing that Venti just wants that uh, side beat at the side platform. He punishes him heavily for it. Venti trying to get that clean little drift to avoid the down air, but he dies for it. Does catch Squid rolling there during his invincibility and gets uh, a stock for it. Two stocks to one. Let's see what happens right here. Oh, oh, the soft bear and Squid's ready for it and just air dodges back in. Good play by Squid. At that low perc lower percent, I think it's a pretty safe option. Oh, Squid DI's out so that the shine can't find him. Venti's still, you know, putting on a lot of pressure here. It's a little late in the game. Squid has a pretty sizable lead here. Well, let's see if he can find something. Nice drop through bear there. He gets the dare. Great job by Venti to not tech in. It's really hard to do that, actually, because you have to hold in to not 